Welcome to Epsilon Learning Center's online video tutorials. In this question, we will be talking about maximizing a parabola and revenue money problems. In this question, you run a canoe rental business on a small river in Ohio. You currently charge $12 per canoe and average 36 rentals a day. An industry journal says that for every 50 cent increase in price, the average business can expect to lose two rentals per day. Use this information to attempt to maximize your income. What should you charge? Okay, so for this question, uh, your income would simply be the number of rentals times your price per rental. Those are pretty typical setup for most of these kinds of work problems. What you're basically going to do is try to find an equation for rentals and for price per rental. Now the key to this is that they told you that for every 50 cent increase in rental price, the average business can expect to lose two rentals per day. Okay, so on the side here, we're going to have to declare a variable. We're going to say let x be the number of 50 cent uh, increases in price. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to call this income I, just to reduce some of our writing. And the number of rentals. Well, currently we're, we're renting out 36 rentals each day. 36 rentals a day. So we can say that the number of rentals is going to be 36. And every time we increase the price, well, we're going to lose two rentals. So it's going to be minus 2x. Well, the 2x is because every time you increase the price by 50 cents, you're going to lose two rentals a day, two customers. So that's why this makes sense. The number of rentals would be 36 minus 2x times, now, the price per rental. Well, right now it's $12. But if we increase the price x times, well, you're going to lose 50 cents. So you're going to increase it by 50 cents each time, right? So it would be plus 0.5x. Now that this represents the price as it changes. So both of these two, uh, the number of rentals and the price per rental are sections, are expressions that will change based on x. What we're going to do now is we're going to multiply this, uh, we're going to multiply these out, these two binomials. So 36 times 12, 36 times 12, that's uh, 144 times 3, that's going to be um, 42, 432, 432 plus 18x minus 24x minus x squared. If we gather like terms and write this in the proper order, put the minus x squared first, be minus 6x plus 432. Now, what we're going to do is we're trying to maximize income. We want to maximize income. So, therefore, we want to, we want to complete the square. Now, why do we want to complete the square? Well, it's because we want the vertex. So, to get the vertex, we're going to complete the square. So, we get factor out the negative. We get x squared plus 6x plus 432 
continue on, we're going to take half of the middle term, so the 6, divided by 2, that gives us plus 3, and squaring it, it gives us 9. So we're going to go x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 plus 432. Taking out the second negative 9, when you take it out of the bracket, it's going to become positive 9. So it's going to be 9 plus 432. And completing the square on the inside, you get x plus 3 squared plus, plus 441. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that the income, the income is 441 when x equals negative 3. So how do we interpret this? Well, in terms of how much you should be charging, the price, the price should be equal to, well, it's 12 plus 0.5x. Well, in order to get the maximum income of 441, we need x to be negative 3. So we can actually plug in negative 3 in for x. And we'll get 12 minus 1.5. So the price that you should charge is $10.50, 10.5. And that answers your question.